is a duck head with a, with a neck attached. What we've done with it is just, we've basically turned it inside out, taken the neck out, and then we've used a, a knife and a wire scourer to get rid of all of the little bits of sinew that's inside the neck and the connective tissue. So essentially what we've basically got is a really amazing, delicious sausage casing. We use this casing to basically stuff all the offal that we get from the duck and all, all of the other offal that we get from butchering pigs. Um, and we roll it into a ballantine and then we smoke it on service. We've, we've bought these in specially whole from our butcher, Rare Breed Meat Company. They're very hard to get, but we've been working it with him for about a month trying to source the right duck. So they come to us with the whole neck, the feet and everything. So what we've done is we've just hung it upside down, let all the blood pour out of the head. Um, and then I've taken it off turned them inside out like this. So you're literally just pulling the skin back. I've stored them in a salt solution for 24 hours. And that just kills off all the bacteria, seasons the skin slightly. That's my neck ready to be stuffed. So George, when we first asked him about it, basically I just heard silence on the phone whilst he was laughing, like how many duck heads can you get us? When we first started getting the duck heads, we were, they were covered in this like loose down. I had to get a razor from the shop and we were shaving them and plucking them and it was just an absolute nightmare so it's taken a while to get the process where they're, they're actually doing that in the abattoir for us and also they let the blood so if you can see where the, the, the duck's been hanging upside down um, the blood goes to the head so normally what they do is they, they cut the duck's neck and they let that, drain, that blood drain out but with these ones they're not doing that because then it would render it useless as a sausage casing. So we're basically changing the way that they do things. So that's why it's taken a bit of time to get onto the menu in, in this capacity. But I think, you know, like highlighting something like this as a waste product is really important because it's, it is a large portion of the duck. Um, and there is good usable, usable meat in the neck, um, the tongue, and it's something that we're throwing away without even thinking about on a daily basis. We've made a, uh, a mousse out of uh, spent hen chicken. So it's chicken which was ex-laying hens. Removed all the sinews from the meat made a very classic chicken mousse with it. And to that mousse, I then added uh, chopped fresh tarragon, double cream to lighten it up a little bit, and also some sauteed morels with Madeira. I'm gonna pop my bag inside the head. I'm gonna stop about two inches from the bottom of the neck. If you overfill it, obviously it's, gonna, it's not gonna cook very evenly at the top, and now it's ready to roll. So I'm just gonna put the head to one side, and now, the first couple of rolls, just gonna get the shape. Nice, even shape all the way down. And then once you've got your nice shape, nice and even, head to, head to tail, then I'm gonna start to tighten it a little bit extra, ensuring the whole time I'm rolling it, keeping that shape all the way down. Going left to right, holding the end nice and tight. And at this stage, if you just double check it again, if it's nice and even, it's all good. It's a little bit thicker, you can still manipulate it down, making sure that it's all the way even, all the way down. And then the last final one. There's the balancing. Good. And then finally, just gonna seal that cling fill. So that. None, none of the steam can potentially get to the duck. And there we have it, and then that's ready to go in the steamer. You know, duck is something we had on the menu at our last restaurant in, on Hedden Street, and it was something we, it was really popular. You know, duck is quite a, a high value menu item, which people are naturally drawn towards. We used to get the livers and the hearts and the gizzards, but it wasn't until we moved uh, to here that we kind of thought, well, where's the actual head gone? So, you know, it's not something you can just pick up from any old butcher. It takes sourcing. You've got to source it, you've got to trial and error it, you've got to change the way the butcher and the farmer all treat this ingredient, which is arguably the hardest part of coming up with these new sustainable ideas as such. Yeah, t technically this is classed as animal waste. It's not actually tech technically classed as a food product so so for us you know like we've got this legislation that says that we can't use this as chefs and we just want to sort of say well why not so we've been steaming this duck, stuffed duck neck now for about 20 to 25 minutes just going to take it out 
So we're cooking this to an internal temperature of about 65 degrees. And then uh, now it's going to un take, unwrap all the foil, take it upstairs, and it's going to be ready to be grilled off. So this is just boiling oil. Just like slowly, slowly baste it in there. So that skin gets really nice and crispy. Stuffed duck neck with morels, tarragon, chicken mousse, red wine sauce. Woo!